שלום, my name is Mirit, and I'm farmer from the Arava. More than 60 years ago, when the first pioneer came to the Arava, they decided to turn the Arava desert into a blossoming garden, despite the fact that the Arava is one of the most challenging places to live in. The lack of water, the salinity of both water and soil, the extreme climate condition, make the Arava almost impossible for agriculture. This is our greenhouse. Come and take a look. the first fruit of the season. You are staying in our greenhouse, peppers, as you see. And the fact that all our community, more than 70% of the community, growing peppers, tomatoes, and dates, make us very vulnerable to the climate changing. For survival, we need more kind of crops in the Arava. The future of the Arava depends on our ability to adjust crops to our conditions. Look at the desert. There is still a lot of space and there are families that want to come and live with us and join us to this mission of making the desert beautiful. But they can only do that if we cultivated more land and find more sorts of crops in order to make a living. Hi, my name is Mayan, uh, and I work in the Ya'i Research Center. Here at Arava Research and Development Center, we are studying with the farmers of the region how to optimize our water management. What will be the minimum amount of water that we can use in order to save on water? What will be the most efficient way maybe to desalinate water? Maybe by desalinating water we can reduce the amount of water that we're using. So all of this knowledge that gained here in the Arava is used in the Arava, but all over the world. Another challenge that we're facing here in the Arava is our soil. Our soil is poor and in many cases salty, and we are studying with the farmers how to overcome this problem and change it into an advantage. I'm standing here in a greenhouse where we grow bitter melon. A bitter melon considered to be very, very healthy. In a month time, if you come here, you could see, you can enjoy and see the beautiful fruit of the bitter melon that are used all over Israel. We plan to bring to Paran new plantations, such as peach, apricot, nectarine, and grapes. We do grow grapes in the northern part of the Arava but the climate there is completely different from what that we are knowing that we have here. In order to grow all these crops here, we will need to adjust the soil, to adjust the water system to that, and we will also have to invest in infrastructure as greenhouses in order to grow all these crops here in Moshav Paran. Look around you. It's an amazing place to live in. This is the amazing date that we have in the Arava. You are welcome to come and visit us and taste the delicious fruits of the Arava.